There you go, motherfuckers. It's Tuesday, a beautiful motherfucking day to be alive. December 27th, the day the devil was buried at sea, raped, lit on fire, fucked in the ass, hit in the head with a hammer, and dragged through the fucking water like on a fucking speedboat or some shit. We're here, we're queer. I haven't seen you motherfuckers in a few days, because it's the holidays, people. I don't want to be bothering you. I don't want to be fucking tormenting you. Like, yeah, not fuck all that shit. I don't need to. I've been smoking, but, you know, we've been taking our time. Don't forget, the podcast is up. The only one we're doing all week. It's up already. Just me and Lee to end the year. I did fucking uh, my man, Dave Del Dean Delray. Dave Delray. Dean Delray last night. And the week is fucking set. Next weekend, I'm at the Kaluka motherfucking casino. And George Michael is dead. And I don't feel so good my motherfucking self. Cleveland, bitches. Pilot the motherfucking bombardier. I got reefer for days. I got like 10 bags of reefer that my man Detroit dropped on me. My man Ryan. I got some fucking death from perennial. I got some lemon kush from perennial. We're going deep this morning, bitches. I don't know what the fuck you've been doing. I know you got that little Christmas jingle money in your pockets. Go buy a bag of weed and we'll do this all fucking week. You understand me? Here's what it's all about to get the fucking... There's five days left in the fucking year. Everybody's crying about 2016. Suck it up, bitches. 2017 is your lucky fucking year. Carrie Fisher, dead. Prince, dead. A bunch of motherfuckers, dead. But guess who's still alive? You are. And that's the most important thing. You gotta keep slinging dick. What oh, princes? Who gives a fuck? You gotta keep slinging dick, bitches. You gotta keep slinging dick and sending fucking smoke signals, you understand me? Because that's how we fucking do it. Besides that, I got a little jujitsu today. I got a spot tonight at Flappers. I'm starting my little workout process to get the next hour going. It's just a bunch of ideas. And uh, everything is kum si kum sa. You know, I'm feeling good. The Christmas holiday was good. Thank God that bullshit's fucking over with. Now we're on to the bigger fucking package. 2017, Trump, this, that, this, and how we're gonna make it motherfucking work. You understand me? But Joey, enough with the CNN talk. Let's spark a bowl. All right, already. Let's finish this fucking, uh, what do I gotta finish here? Let's finish the lemon kush this morning. I gotta go to the wheat store right from here. I'm gonna go get a little couple sacks, then I'm gonna go to jiu-jitsu, and it's that type of fucking day, okay? It's time to kick the mule, we gotta start all over again. We got 2017, you gotta take the sand out of your fucking eyes. 2016 was a bad year. Yeah, it was. All right. You're alive, bitch. That's all that matters. You're fucking alive. You know what? 1984 was a bad year for me, but it made me who the fuck I am. So sometimes a couple bad things make you who the fuck you are, and that's what you got to do. Everybody's lucky, because even when you have a bad day, somewhere down the line, you have a good day to reflect on that fucking bad day. Trust me, I'm telling you, I'm a lot older than you motherfuckers. You think I got stories because I sat around and played on a fucking computer all my life? I got stories because I was out there living, motherfuckers. Losing and living. But eventually you start winning and living. And then you got more fucking stories. So, suck my dick and call me shorty. I was born in 1940. Let's do this shit. Very nice. <coughs> Very fucking nice. It's nice when we have this opportunity to get high together, you know what I'm saying? Also my man, R.I.P. to my man, Ricky Williams, Ricky. That dude was a funny motherfucker, dog. That dude was a solid motherfucker. And that dude was better at comedy without trying than most people that fucking try. And they dip into the spirit animal and they, Get the fuck out of here. That motherfucker could show up and rock the house. That's where I learned it from. Just show up and rock the house. There's no there's no inner light or inner motivation. I have to tap into my pain. Suck my dick. Just get out there and do the fucking job, all right? Like all these black rappers. You don't see them fucking going to acting class, but they get out there and drop it because they don't listen to all that bullshit. The, the motivation of the scene, the motivation of the scene was for you to suck my dick. That was the motivation of the scene. Go fuck yourself.
look at that. Nice, see? We have a good time. We smoke a little bit, we get our heads right, and then we go the fuck out there and swing dick and make these, hold these motherfuckers hostages. And that's it, it's that fucking easy. What do you think, should we smoke another bowl? Can't leave the house on one foot, that, that, that just sucks dick. It's nice. The sun's out, my back is loose. They're being guy. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go fucking get choked out today. Cause I don't choke nobody. People choke me out, they twist my arms. But at the end of the class, my gi is fucking drenched. Even my knee pads smell like shit. My asshole is rotten. And that's the most important thing. I got the blood going. I got that fucking old toxins out of me. And that's it, my brother. You know, we're here, we're queer. God gave you another day to live. You're gonna sit there like a fucking half a fag. Talking, oh, what if Trump becomes president? I'm leaving the country. Who left the country? Nobody left the country, bitch. Nobody's left yet. It's all bullshit. These people are just talking. That's one thing you don't find here. We fucking talk and we execute. We're not fucking around here. You think I got where I got by fucking talking and listening to these fucking jerk offs? They could all suck your dick. Grab your dream and go for it. Fuck these punk ass bitches. You go, you do whatever the fuck you gotta do. You gotta drop the envelope off in their office. You gotta break into that car and drop off their fucking resume. You do it if you want that fucking job. Oh. All right. <coughs> oh, I'm stoned. What do you want from me now, all right? I'm high. We did the job. And now you go out there and stab motherfuckers without it to remember. Just because they don't suck your dick today, don't mean they're not going to suck your dick. You got to plant the seed and they'll suck your dick down the road. But if you got you plant 18 seeds, look what you got. Plant the seed every fucking day and watch what happens. These motherfuckers can't stop you. And with that, I got to take two steps to the rear and get out of here. I love you motherfuckers. Have a phenomenal fucking day. Don't let nobody get in the way of your dream. And fuck 2016. It's just another day in a fucking park for motherfuckers like us. 2017 is going to suck all our dicks, okay? And maybe a bunch of piano players will start dying or something like that. Guys that play the flute. I don't fucking know. I love you. Don't take shit from nobody. And tell them all to suck your dick. Because at the end of the week, you're the Captain Kirk of your enterprise. Have a good day. Uncle Joey loves you. Kaluka Casino, January 6th by Sacramento. Don't forget about me.